Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. If you were over on my main channel, you may have seen the uh, April Fool's video that came out. And yes, we made an ebony toothpick. This is out of old growth ebony, very hard to find, but I thought it'd be kind of fun. <laughs> so today we're actually gonna go and look at this and I'm gonna talk through what I was thinking, why I was thinking it, and maybe some of the, uh, the ideas that came up behind this. So let's dive into making the toothpick. This is not your normal would buy right video. <laughs> Every now and then you just need to experiment and play with things, not just in the woodworking world, but sometimes in the video working and uh, expand your borders and try new things. No, this will not become the normal. But I thought let's do something that's a little bit uh, almost clickbaitish with the, the $200 toothpick, uh, but we're going to have a little bit of fun. So I was looking through what actually I wanted to make it. I was originally thinking about making a zebra wood toothpick, but then I found this tiny little scrap of old growth ebony and I thought, ooh, this would be fun. So we're playing with a bunch of different ways of testing which wood do you use you know, of course the head bonk that's one of the best ways to figure out what wood but uh, this ebony was sent to me by a friend several years ago and I've used it in a bunch of different projects and it's gotten smaller and smaller every time I just need a little bit of a black inlay and a hand tool or something like that this comes out really well now for the cutting on this I want to cut it down into a strip that's about eighth inch by an eighth inch and so I'm gonna grab a dovetail saw uh, which has a rip cut or most of them have a rip cut some of them have a slight hybrid cut to them uh, but mine I keep with a with a rip cut as I want to basically rip this board down I'm gonna resaw this with a tiny little piece <laughs> uh, this is a rather simple rather easy cut it from one side then cut it from the other side and yes I do save the ebony dust it makes great inlay material you can mix that in with a glue and you get this jet black fill uh, yes. So I have this Harbor Freight plane. Yes, you can buy these tiny little planes at Harbor Freight. Had to sharpen up the iron, which was a pain because it's basically mild steel. Um, it, it just did not stay very sharp. So um, this allowed me to work on this tiny little sliver of wood and start shaping it down into the shape of a toothpick. I loved these tiny little ebony curls, and yes, I saved those as well, but they, they came off, and it worked out pretty well. I've never actually had a really good use for this Harbor Freight plane, but in this case, it worked out pretty well. Uh, some of it, I actually clamped it in the vise to run the board over it, the, the board, the toothpick over it, <laughs> and it's working uh, surprisingly well to take little shavings. I had to sharpen it twice because it dulled up almost instantly, uh, but it worked so I guess that's what you're asking for um, just rounded both ends down to a nice sharp point um, and then it had a bit of a faceted surface so I wanted to remove that faceted surface and square it up um, so I tried planing it but it wasn't quite working for that I got my finest file and then I roll it in my fingers and slide it along the file and that gave me a nice rounded edge and then of course boiled in the oil for the finish happy times I'm really excited about this thing um, I, yes I am holding on to this toothpick I'm, 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 I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but I have the toothpick and I like it <laughs> so there you have it we made an ebony toothpick um, yes uh, Trying to find old growth ebony is incredibly hard unless you're taking apart old piano keys. And this is a scrap left over uh, from a friend who gave it to me, uh, which I, I've, you know, I've been working on a little bit by little bit as I need inlays. And I thought this would be a fun time just to do a, an interesting April Fool's video. So I hope you like this. Uh, it was a weird idea. It gave me a few other interesting build ideas, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. If you did like the video, please let me know down below. If you have any thoughts, ideas, concerns, let me know those as well. So I think that'll about do it for today. And until next time, have a wonderful day. The next thing I need to do is figure out how to inlay some diamonds.